My name is Pangana Isotwa. i um, just graduated a visual artist from Northumbria University. I um, just completed a BA on the degree on contemporary photographic practice. So on my final year doing this degree, I started focusing on climate change issues and uh, documenting for over two years about issues about sustainability, which is uh, um, the ways we can do to sustain the, the energy and by so doing, doing positive things about the environment. <laughs> Can you see that? In this project, I call it sustainability. This is whereby I'm documenting the sustainability methods um, in regards to climate change. I visited South Africa, um, went to Botswana, uh, and went to, to Zimbabwe. I was documenting about climate change, and this saw me going around the country, the UK, and even overseas. See this image here? This is about a greenhouse which has been built. This is from UK, and it, they are using recycled, you know, disposable waste. These are empty boxes which they have used as, as greenhouses, glasses. This idea we can take it back to like to Africa, that could be a good thing. In my travels, um, I was looking at how people are adopting to climate change. And it is so interesting, like this image which you are seeing here. We now see like the, the, the wood stoves, which are coming back to life. Uh, we're seeing people now investing more on the wood, you know. The deforestation is becoming an issue because electricity is a problem in most parts of Africa, especially my country I come from in Zimbabwe where you find energy resources are scarce, um, electricity is not as much as in some countries, and then people have to resort to cutting down trees. And what I find interesting, again, talking about trees, is here in UK, you find, like, there's a place which I visited in Scotland, where you find, like, um, they've got trees which have failed in 2008, and by 2010, there was still a signage saying, do not use, yeah? Failed in 2008, but by 2019, they couldn't even use that wood. Which is very interesting, because what I ended up learning from that is, you need the, your wood to dry thoroughly before burning it. By doing such, and then uh, when you burn your wood that way, you get maximum energy, and uh, it releases less um, emissions, which, which are the harmful gases emitted to, to the atmosphere. Now, I'm thinking about where we come from. We, we can't fail a tree and dry it for like two years, three years before using it. You cut down a tree, you use it there and then. We are here in UK. And this is where you find like there's so much gases being emitted into the atmosphere because of cars running around, engines, factories, agriculture, all that. And where we come from in, in, in Africa, there's, there's less carbon dioxide being emitted into the atmosphere. But the irony of it is the less developed countries, those are the ones which are affected most and it's a result of the developed countries. So developed countries are doing a lot in terms of producing the greenhouse gases. And the countries which are producing less greenhouse gases are the ones which are being affected. So we now, we need to look at that. I, I believe the developed countries, they need to take it upon themselves to make sure that, one, they reduce their carbon emissions, and two, they play a big role in supporting the developing countries which are being affected by their actions. I've managed to get in touch with uh, very influential people in the Northeast here in, in UK. And we've actually formed an organization and we call ourselves the Forces. Forces as climate change community champions. And this is whereby we're trying to recruit people here in UK to be the champions. And, Currently, we want to focus on the, the so-called hard-to-reach communities, um, whereby we try to encourage people, you know, to really think seriously about 
the issues about climate change, and we feel we need to reinvest you know, the knowledge which we have gained here. We take it back to Africa. We have got resources of getting seed trees. You know, We should go back and, and replant these trees because deforestation leads to desertification, which is something we don't want uh, to happen. We need to look after our nature, and nature will look after us. It's unfortunate that this project which we have started, we, at the moment we do not have like a website, but hopefully people will be following um, through my, my personal website. And um, this project, we are going to be recruiting people to be champions. You know, We know that there are people who are migrants who are voluntarily returning to their countries. And what, one of the things which we are trying to do is to recruit them as champions here in UK. And when they go back to their countries, they still become the champions and they recruit more champions there. And look, let's say, for example, we give them a seed of trees from UK and then we ask them to take them back to their countries and plant you know, those seeds and we record the, 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 the growth of those trees. That's something which we are doing positively because trees are an important part in trapping these carbon dioxide gases. So this project is about you know, it will spread wings all over the world. Hopefully this is what we are aiming to do and we hope more people are watching this, who are interested, they will get in touch um, via my personal website and then when we've got our website up and running, then we can start communicating via that, that, that website, the Forces website. This is the direction which we are looking at. I've been so attached to this project that I've I feel I need to do something. It shouldn't just end here because I've just finished my university course. Every little helps. Every person who can do something at this stage, I think we, we need that. The smaller we start, the better. They're not doing anything.